This is my first time moto camping. Not only am I moto camping, I'm moto camping from a bike. I've had less than a week. And we're gonna be trying out all of our new camping gear. So tent, sleeping bag, cookware, all of that stuff. I am a little nervous to be doing this trip. It's really my first time ever taking an adventure with Chris, both on our own bikes. It's my first time riding with luggage. We are trying to keep my bike a little bit lighter than what he's used to, so fingers crossed, everybody. Oh gosh, oh, I've never been so nervous. Just think of it the same as just riding down the street. It's all it really is, but we just keep going. Here we go. So Caitlin's journey begins. This is my first overnight adventure on my own motorcycle. I've done a trip up to Savannah and back again the same day, trip up to Myrtle Beach and back again the same day, but this is my first time riding in the moto camping and I'm excited to try out all of our new camping gear, trying to figure out how to cook at a campsite. We're going to figure that out, I guess. It's going to be a lot of new, a lot of firsts for me. So far, so good. Oh, we also haven't even gotten five minutes up the road, so. Yee! First time with a new bike in, in this state. Yep. And on to your first time riding the Florida ever. And only on a permit. <laughs> I made it. I fucking made it to Florida. So it was so much better being on the Honda Rebel than it was on the Suzuki S40. I was super nervous steering some of it. The winds got really bad. I think we had to pick one of the windiest days so far this year to travel on. But we made it all in one piece. We found our campground. Let's go set up the tent now. the tent up right now. The struggle was a bit real. You probably should have watched a refresher video on how to set up the tent. We've been up since before eight o'clock this morning. Not like that super early, but we stayed up super late packing. Chris ran to the store to hopefully get food or drinks or we'll just kind of see what happens. <sighs> I'm tired and I'm hungry. Because we haven't eaten yet. And I like food. Love you very much. Now that the tent was set up, it was time to get everything else inside. Teamwork makes the dream work. So we are trying the tiny pump, seeing if that helps. So I don't have to spend so much time. time we are going to be trying the tiny pump seeing how that works with our big Agnes sleeping pads. We're filming. Hello. Duh. Rude. Don't they know YouTube exists? YouTubers! Sorry. Content creators. How about filmmakers? Filmmakers. I like that one a lot more. We're working towards filmmakers? Yes. We are trying the tiny pump air pump to use to inflate our air mattresses. Hopefully they will be a lot faster than the bags that come with the Big Agnes. Now that they're a problem, they just kind of take a long time, particularly Chris's. Now, there isn't technically a correct size for the Big Agnes sleeping pads. It does work, but it doesn't form a direct seal, so it's not exactly perfect. But let's see if it works a little better. So far, it's working. Slowly but surely, it is working. And a morning. So it took me about five or six minutes to blow up Chris's air pad with the tiny pump, which is actually significantly faster, at least for me, to do his air pad than the bag. So 
I say it's a win. I say overall it's a pretty good win. We have the snug pack sleeping bags. We have a right and a left sleeping bag so we can actually zip them up together. So if we actually wanted to snuggle and be a couple, you know, be romantic and all that stuff. So we're gonna do that. No idea which one is which right now though. The one thing I've never been able to set up are these stupid chairs. Got the point of going to the gym. Can't do it. There you go. Sex chairs! And this is my brand new chair. It's very green. Very, very green. I almost smacked myself in the face there. I'm not that learned yet in the ways of camping. We do. It's called Scrambler Stories. So it's about motorcycle and motorcycle travel. So, so yeah, we're. Uh, the camera does the camera give it away? <laughs> Just a little bit. Now to get the fire going so we can cook some food. This episode is called Caitlin is Goofy as So this is the Trekker Stove, another recommendation from Amanda, or As the Magpie Flies, that we're giving a shot. Oh wow, it's sensitive. Hey, it works! I don't... Yay! I don't know how low to do it or how high to do it. It's very sensitive. What are we having for dinner tonight? We didn't have time to like get real food, and uh, so the, the camp store had um, mini spaghetti meatballs and beefaroni, and I couldn't get a hold of Caitlin, so I made a decision I got one of each, and we're just going to mix them both together and share it. So that's our dinner tonight. We're 12 years old in adult bodies. So this is me working from the campground. Dinner's cooking, fire's going, tent set up. We woke up to a beautiful day, and I got to enjoy the morning rays while Chris got to work. First night of moto camping in the books. I think we did pretty well. We're in a little bit of a rush, so packing back up has been a little sloppy on mainly the tent and everything, but we're good to go. We're just gonna load up the bikes and then hit the road. From here, we were on our way to the Forgotten Angels camp out in Tampa, Florida. All I'm doing right now is drinking beer and having fun, baby. <laughs> Take care and scramble on.